Fox 46 Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane has your complete neighborhood storm watch forecast. Just a gloomy day overall, Tara. It really is just wet out there, kind of difficult driving. And so far, according to radar estimates, we're picking up about a half inch, uh, even in some areas, likely about three quarters of an inch or so so far. But it's still falling in many neighborhoods as we scan around on Fox 46 radar, especially south and east of Charlotte. We've had some heavier pockets, had a heavy line of some storms uh, rolling through earlier this afternoon. Right now, still some heavier showers showing up near Chesterfield and some occasional lightning as well. This is all pushing off to the east and heading up into the Rockingham area. A little bit of a break just west of Wadesboro, but it's just that light and occasionally moderate to heavy rain still falling over the metro. We have some breaks off to the west where the rain is a little bit lighter up in the mountain communities. But even if you do see a break here early this uh, evening, late this afternoon, early this evening, notice we've got plenty more to get through back off to the west and more of that rain will be moving through while we're sleeping tonight. Temperatures aren't so bad out there, not as cold as they could be for this time of the year. We've got 53 degrees in the Queen City with that light northeast wind. A few chillier spots near the I-40 corridor, upper 40s, low 40s up in the mountains at Jefferson. And as we go through tonight, temperatures at least around the Charlotte area through South Carolina and even around the I-40 corridor generally stay above freezing. So we get this moisture moving through. It will stay as just that cold rain. But up in the mountains, it's going to be a bit of a different story. So meteorologist Elisa Roth joins me now to talk more about what to expect through the night and early tomorrow. So Lisa. Yeah, Tara, as you mentioned, we've been dealing with that rain all day, right? And on the road hazards, you can see things are green, meaning they're mostly wet. You still have some ponding issues over to the east where some of that heavy rain and the thunderstorms has gone. But as we go through uh, the overnight hours here, we're expecting uh, some of these temperatures to dip a little bit closer to freezing, where we've got these temperatures that will get closer to freezing near that uh, I-40 corridor and then up into those mountains. That's where we're going to find some freezing rain and sleet going into tomorrow morning and you could find up to about a tenth of an inch of some of that ice. That's where we've got some of these winter weather advisories that are in effect up right here, uh, Ashwatauga, and then getting into Burke and Caldwell counties there. So again, by tomorrow morning, this road weather map uh, might have some pinks with some icings up there in the morning. You'll want to just be careful. Bridges, overpasses, sidewalks, those things get uh, slick first, especially those bridges, because that cold air can wrap around the bridge and that's where you can get some of that rain to kind of freeze on contact because that bridge is a little bit colder. So we'll have to watch out for that going into tomorrow morning and then things dry up briefly tomorrow afternoon. But Tara, we're not done. This is just one of multiple storms that's going to roll through going into next week, right? I know we get that little bit of a dry break tomorrow afternoon. It's not going to be back to sunshine, though. We're going to keep it on the cloudy side over the next uh, several hours, some areas of fog out there as well. But the rain, a little bit of a break from that until later on tomorrow evening and then going into the night and early Saturday. So hour by hour rain chances tomorrow, a little bit higher earlier in the day and then they do get much lower a little bit later in the day and uh, as we fast forward into Valentine's Day again with more periods of rain on the way through Saturday a little bit more of a dry break it's not going to be completely dry though just a couple of lingering showers will be possible those temperatures around 50 degrees but you may get some dry time out there so this is just going to be the pattern the next several days and going into next week all right so temperatures tonight again dropping into the upper 20s in the mountains so that's why we'll have to watch for some of those slick areas with any lingering freezing rain or freezing drizzle. Meantime, temperatures from the I-40 corridor down through the metro staying above freezing with those lingering showers. And then there's that seven day forecast again, just off and on periods of rain through early next week as temperatures stay generally on the chilly side. We may get a little bit of a bump there the second half of uh, next week, a little closer to 60, but just a rainy, rainy pattern coming up, Lindsay. 